This is my Mavic Mini flying and recording video of the newly made PowerStar Pro AB model. I just wanted to share my new hobby and comment down below if you want to see more of this aerial photography. Here is the palette of colors we're going to be using today. If you don't have these, you can always just buy a big bucket of beads and usually they have enough colors to suit you. Now we're going to be assembling the front panel as well as the eyes and the first connectors. Here we're going to grab the front panel as well as the eyes and making sure that the black bead is facing the bottom, we're, put, we're going to put it in. Next we're going to repeat the same step but with the other panel. Also consider joining my Discord in the description of this video to be updated with all my new models. Now we're going to grab one of the bracers and we're going to put it into the topmost hole. After this we're going to push it down slightly and then make sure it clicks so that it's held by both of the holes down below. Next we're going to grab the yellow piece with two orange beads and we're going to slide it right on top so that it completes the checkered pattern from the front. Now this is my favorite part to assemble. This is going to be the top of the star. Now you're going to have to flip, over, flip it over and now once you've done that we're going to take one of these flat panels and we're going to put it in so that if we look at from it from the top we're going to see a checkered pattern. Next we're going to take the exact same part and we're going to flip it over so that it's mirrored and we're going to put it right opposite of what we just did. Now we're going to grab these small little pieces and we're going to pop them in right here and making sure that they finish the paint stuff, making sure that they complete the outline of the colors. Now we're going to put it in and I just zoomed it in so that it's, it'll be better seen where to put them. This is a close up of how they, they should be looking. Now we're going to be taking these T-shapes and we're going to be putting them into the bottom most holes. There are two of them so if we put them in there's going to be a one bead gap perfect for putting in our next piece. So now we're going to put it in, make sure it clicks and make sure it just continues the checkered pattern as well. Now we're going to take the final T-shaped piece and we're going to put it in so that it's and now we're going to put it in so that it continues the checkered pattern and now this part is complete time to start the back of the star now this is pretty similar to the very first assembly due to the back now we're going to take the panel we just assembled and also we're going to take this green and blue part and we're going to put it straight into the middle now we're going to take this similar piece and we're just going to stick it right below it. Also hopefully in the summer I'm going to be posting more videos because I'm just going to have much more time. Now we're going to put a similar piece that we just put in right next to it. So that they line up and make an A shape. Next we're going to place all this onto our table. and. This step might sometimes be challenging because the pieces don't always fit, but you have to place the back panel straight onto all of the grooves we just made. So this doesn't always happen to be first try, but happily this just worked out and I didn't really have to cut anything out. So this is how it should be looking like right now. Now we're going to flip over the star and grabbing the remaining parts, we're gonna put them on so that they have the checkered pattern repeating on them. Next we're gonna take the similar piece and put it right next to it. And this is gonna be how the assembly is looking so, so far and we're almost done. 
This is gonna be the legs and the sides of the star. Now we're gonna grab this yellow-ish and green L and we're gonna mm, stick it onto the side. After this, we're gonna push it on. Now we're gonna take the other L and we're gonna put it on straight on top. This one has to be smaller so that we can see the, the one behind. The, the top one has this connector that's gonna be allowing us to hold the pieces together better than if it weren't there. So make sure to do it properly because it's a, one of the really key parts. Now we're gonna repeat the same step as we did on the other side so that the star is gonna be symmetrical. Now that we've lined everything up, we have to grab these blue parts and sticking them first at a diagonal and then pushing up makes sure that all the pieces are held tightly by the pressure. And now we're going to repeat the exact same step as we did previously so that all of the pieces are held up. And now the video is almost complete. So here we're going to be taking the final panels and we're going to pop them in to the legs to finish off the star. And that, my friends, is the finished star. I hope you guys enjoyed building this model. Please let me know in the comments what else you want me to build, if you want me to build more of those drone footage. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.